Ethan, welcome to the Business Advisory Show. How are you? I'm fantastic, John. A bit tired after two days at ZeroCon, but I'm still uh, going great. Thank you. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. Now, uh, obviously, the show's purpose is to motivate accountants and bookkeepers to, um, you know, to really take business advisory seriously, mm. and we recommend this particular brand as one of the flagship no-brainers mm. to get them moving in the right direction and on you know, hundreds and hundreds of firms that we've mentored have actually um, you know, jumped on a PI. But tell me about why PI does actually help um, the, the profession move into business advisory. It's a great question. Um, the main reason is really just being confident in your, pr your pricing and your quoting up front. Yeah. Um, I mean so many so many firms come to us and they're just not confident in the price that they're offering their clients and you, you'll know this you know they they do all this work at the end of the year they're writing off half the bill they're losing half you know they're losing out on this massive opportunity to uh, to sell additional services and even to uh, do your re-engagements and renewals at the end of the year to speak to the client again and, and and think about you know additional upgrade opportunities and what additional services can we offer this client to get expansion revenue from our existing client cohort um, our product enables them to do that it's basically a prompt that says look this proposal is ending Let's let's actually use this as an opportunity to say, hey, what other things have happened in the last 12 months in your business, and how can we how can we assist you with that? So that's the key reason, and then just being able to uh, confidently package up and price those services up front, give you a really slick mode of delivery for your proposals, and uh, collect the payment on time, making sure you're actually getting paid for that amazing business advisory work that you're doing. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. That, that makes such great sense. Now the other thing that I've noticed personally is that the work that you've done at the back end mm. on auto reconciliation mm. uh, integration back into zero so mm. that there's really the bookkeeping time has been reduced I reckon by 90 percent yep yep yeah would say on average it's saving sort of three to five hours per client per year and if you think about that in terms of your charge charge out rate you know it's more time you can spend on your business with your family investing back into your existing clients for more opportunities and you're right so it automatically actually reconciles and raises all the invoices in zero deploys the workflows and jobs to XPM too a big time saver yeah. I reckon this is something we haven't necessarily pushed and that is mm. an accounting firm that wants to become full service, one stop mm. shop, mm. Roll, in business, uh, uh, roll in bookkeeping as well, mm. well maybe on PI it actually becomes quite, re quite legitimately doable without having an enormous sort of bookkeeping proficiency yeah. in, the, in the firm? Yeah. yeah, yeah, potentially. I mean, we've definitely seen uh, a reduction in admin time and uh, in some instances, firms have actually been able to fire <laughs> admin staff after implementing PI because it saves, does save that much time, especially if you're rolling it out over a, across a large client base. So um, yeah, wouldn't see uh, why not. Yeah. yeah. And, and the little secret, of course, is uh, one of the other businesses I'm a director of, uh, BP Marketing, mm. we also use PI and that's right out to SMEs, not just to accountants. And, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, the secret source of, of practice ignition is that it's applicable across many different industries. So the, the accountants that are really switched on are actually recommending PI to any of their clients who have got cash flow issues. So mm. it's a great way of making sure you're getting your recurring payments collected up front. Any professional service business that's got a proposal, a contract and recurring payment, they can use PI. So we're seeing the really smart firms, you know, they're solving their own cash flow issues, but they're also recommending solutions for their clients too. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's uh, ask uh, Troy here to come up, come up and Great. explain from an accountant's perspective. Great. Um, hey, Troy. Hi. Oh, yeah. So Troy, of course, uh, is a national award winner in 2018 with uh, the Best Practice uh, uh, Network Excellent. Uh, for an accounting firm running enormous efficiencies. Mm. Um, and of course, Troy is always in pursuit of efficiency gain, has been for a decade. So uh, Troy, why did you uh, move to PI and uh, what, was, what was the problem you were maybe looking to solve as an accounting firm? Well, we, we are the traditional accounting firm in the sense that um, we do all the back end of our our business one runs really well. What we do really poorly is that we don't engage with our clients and we don't even look or review the services we're offering. We don't sit down with them, we don't price. Um, we traditionally do the work, what's on the whip, send the bill with the finances and out we go. So we've only just started being using Practice Edition for six months now. Um, and uh, th this is testament to how well it works because we've had a 100% strike rate on the proposal we put out. So, awesome. so bar one was for a $400 trust establishment. So, mm. you know, I wouldn't say that that's you know part of you know the the modelling that we the remodelling that we did. So, um, so what it, it's not only just getting acceptance and getting the payment up front or the terms that you want. Mm. What we're finding it is is that we, we're actually 
forcing ourselves to go and look at the work we're doing, mm. seeing what services we are offering and what we're not, mm. and then going to the client and saying, look, Fred, this is what we're prepared to do, this is what we're paying for last year, we're going to have four uh, uh, quarterly meetings for the year, we're going to add all these additional services as well. What we're mm. finding is, A, the clients go, gee, I didn't even know you did that, mm. and B, um, when do I start? Mm. So and it's, if we we finished a discussion with saying, John, I'm going to send you a proposal, just to reconfirming what we're talking about today, are you happy with that? They click on it, and that's where the 100% strike rates come back. So, mm. so you know, as we progress and 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 redefine different sections of our business even more, mm. then um, you know, PO is going to play a big part in it. And, it's, and it goes without saying that um, you know the dollar transaction for payment mm. is you know it's it's not even a concern for us. Mm. Um, We've got a copy of it as well, so we can go back and cut and paste and use it for mm. other clients and so on and so on. So, so we are, you know, a proven fact. We're a traditional accounting firm that's got that part of it wrong, yep. and it's it's basically foolproof. If you just follow your nose, then um, it opens up new opportunities. You're going to get paid quicker, and you're going to get paid more for what your work that you're doing. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a great initiative, and, and we're really happy with it. Excellent. That's fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Great. Great stuff. So what's the biggest uh, issue or you know, topic on your mind that is about the horizon for the next year or two in, in a, the accounting industry? What do you see that's going to be important? Yeah, I think choosing apps that have got longevity is the key. Like we're at ZeroCon today. Uh, for anyone who hasn't been here before, there's 80 or 90 different apps today. I don't think all of those are going to be around in a few years. It's about choosing the apps that are really core and are solving a real business need. See a lot of people come here over the last two days not exactly sure of the problems in their own business. So I've, I ask almost every person who comes to the booth, what are the problems you're looking to solve? And you know, five, ten percent of them actually have an answer for me. So I think maybe sit down and, and do a map out of your process and identify where the inefficiencies are so you can come to an event like this and actually you know, garner some value from it try and yeah. solve the issues that you're that you're having in your firm rather than coming and getting a, a, a lukewarm feel for what everyone's doing and yeah not have too many takeaways that'd be my biggest thing yeah great advice yeah, yeah. thanks for coming on the show thanks john well done ethan thanks yes. for dropping in troy thanks awesome. troy. well done <laughs> thanks, mate. appreciate it